let's face it, you know, dentistry can be not fun, can be very angst provoking for, provoking for a lot of patients, particularly those who have had a, a bad previous experience. And these experiences can be uh, traumatic uh, and result in a significant amount of dental phobia. Dental phobia is, is one of the most common, most intense, most universal uh, uh, phobias. This has created a vicious cycle where they have not come to the dentist even for checkups or routine cleanings because of their fear. And of course that uh, leads to a lot of undiagnosed problems, a lot of more involved uh, treatment, uh, and perhaps leading them in a situation where they have to get treated on an emergency basis, further worsening their phobia because at that point it's more difficult to get them numb, it's more difficult to, to we may not be able to be ready to sedate the patient. This is where sedation dentistry comes in. Any patient with a mild or certainly severe dental phobia can uh, pursue a number of options uh, for sedation, like um, twilight sedation, uh, which I do a tremendous amount of, and it's changed my practice. It's changed my practice, it's changed my uh, patient's experience. We also offer for those patients with uh, extreme phobias who want to be uh, completely put out, uh, closer to general anesthesia, we do offer uh, anesthesiologists uh, assistant. We have an anesthesiologist come in from out of the office to do deep sedation in the office. But I've found that that is generally not needed. Uh, twilight sedation, uh, is extremely effective at keeping patients comfortable. They're not aware of what's going on. Uh, a three, two, three hour surgical appointment will seem like it was uh, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, and it is, it's, it's a great way to do dentistry.